Hey everybody, I'm Mike with Omega Survival, and I'm going to do a quick review and a first impressions video of the Bark River Bravo 1.5. This is in CPM 3V steel, the mil spec camo G10 handles. Now this knife is a beauty. This is a real beast of a knife. A good small to mid-range chopper. And as always, go over the sheath real quick. Very high quality leather sheath. The Bark River logo. Very high quality double stitching. Um, these are rivet eyelets but you could use them as lanyard holes, I'm sure. And mount stuff to this sheath if you want. There's a good ferro rod holder right here. A very good size belt loop. However, there are a lot of companies out there that make custom Kydex sheathing. And if you're a Kydex guy, you can simply have it sent away make one but um, the overall length on this one is 11 inches the blade length is 5.8 inches the steel is the CPM 3V premium steel the thickness is 0.217 of an inch thick it weighs 9.8 ounces and it's got a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 59 and this is a complete beast of a knife. It's got flat jimping. It's really the only difference besides the blade length between this and the Bravo 1. Good spine. Throw nice sparks off on that spine. And right here in that groove. But uh. I love Bark River Knives handles. There's no hot spots on them at all. You can grip this all day and it's comfortable in the hand. This is great for batoning. But like I've been telling everybody, this is just a preliminary quick review. Um, all the fun's going to be when I take these out in the field. and put them through their courses and document it all for everybody to see that blades very thick all the way to the tip of that blade I got the burnt orange mil spec 550 cord handle and like all bark river knives they're made to fit very snug in a sheath so it takes a little while for them to break in. You gotta pull the snaps really tight to get them in there. Beautiful sheath. Very nice. Bark River really knows what they're doing over there with the engineering of the sheaths, with the engineering of the knives, the different very high quality blade steels that they use, the jimping, the blade grinds, the handle material. The way the handle is shaped, the way the blade's shaped, everything about them is just, there's a lot of thought put behind them. They're very, very high quality knives. And this is my quick review of the Bark River Bravo 1.5. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, <coughs> Please subscribe so you can see the upcoming field test reviews. It's going to be spread out over the course of the last couple of uh, course of the next few months. I'm sorry. Um, the only reason why I haven't gotten around to doing that yet is because it's so bitterly cold right now and the weather is just horrible. Um, I am going to get out sometime in the next few days and. 
this is going to be the first field test. This knife here and the Parang is going to be put through the first series of their field testing. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and you'll get to see the whole series. And I believe at some point in time, Mike Stewart from Bark River is going to be sending me a few more knives. And I'll see if I can get that bolo sent out because a lot of people have been inquiring to me about doing a review video of the Grasso Bolo and a few other knives. And I'm getting real positive feedback from these reviews. Everybody seems to enjoy them. Um, I'm doing this for everybody out there that enjoys them. Uh, I'm enjoying doing this as much as you're enjoying watching. So, thank you very much for watching my video. And please subscribe to my channel. And comment in the box below if you want to see me do something specific in the field testing. Just let me know and I'll see if I can get that done. Thank you for watching.